Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and hot on the heels of the Carlton Books unboxing. I have another unboxing for you today and that of course is the subscription box Alumacrate. Now as you're aware I purchased these myself, they're not sent to me. This one costs £29.99 and it's quarterly. I will leave a link to Alumacrate below so if you want to go and check out their website you can. Now I haven't opened, I have opened it but I haven't looked at it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in this quarter's box. I did love the last box, which had Nevernight and the Graces in it. So, although I've... Ooh, let's have a look. So, oh, there we are. There is the inside of the box. Right. So this is the spoiler, which I'm not going to look at. I'll put that to one side. I'll look at that if I need to. And then, of course, we've got all this fuzzy stuff. Ooh. And then, oh, there's more in boxes in here. Thanks for letting Illumicrate brighten up your days. Ta-da! Lovely. So well, the first thing we've got I think is a candle. Aiden. Meraki candles. It's got ber bergamot, sandalwood and mercy. Ooh. Oh that smells, that smells like soap. But a really nice soap. Oh, that's very nice. I'm going to pop that one there. Okay. So I am having a fiddle. Um, so this is... Oh, right. Okay. This is a coffee cosy. Okay. I assume that you would put this uh, around your coffee cup to stop you from burning your hands. How handy! I don't drink coffee, but I'm sure I can use it for a tea as well. So this is by Sparrow and Wolf. So I'll put a link to their website down below as well. So you can have a look at that if you want. Okay. And next is... It's a little... Oh, it's a Christmas tag that says, I'll be home for Christmas. And on the back it says, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Oh, how sweet. Now, ooh, 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 the book's right at the bottom. It's not a very thick book. I can feel it. It's a hardback. So next it looks like socks. Happy socks. Always needing socks, me. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at this. Uh, happy socks. 36 to 40. Which is a, a fine four to seven in the UK pair of socks. Very nasty. The next thing is um, this looks like some sort of card holder. It's not plasticky. It does smell a bit plasticky. Um, and it's a six of crows one. Hashtag six of crows. Lee Bardugo on it. No mourners. No funerals. Uh, I'm actually going to look to see what they say that is. Then I'm not going to put the book. It doesn't actually say what it is. It's just an extra from Six of Crows. But it looks like something you'd put like a, a card in or something like that. Um, I've actually seen what the book is now. Not that I mind because it's uh, fine. I was alive. I burnt brightly. All the bright praises holding up the universe. I don't know what this is, but it's actually sealed. Little cards. Oh wow, you are all the colours full of brightness. The whole universe comes into focus. Well these are quite nice, let's put that down for a second. And that's that one. It says that one which says, I was alive, I've been brightly, you were wanted. Oh, I'm shaking, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, not even yourself. You are all the colours in one uh, at full brightness. And that just says the whole universe comes into focus. And that, of course, is the cover for Jennifer Niven's book. All the bright places holding up the universe. Nice. They're quite sweet. Then, I love you and I love you, your book. And did I mention I love you? Okay. That's a postcard. I love postcards. That's a nice postcard. Unconventional. Okay. This is like a transfer or a sticker, um, yeah, probably like a tattoo thing, I think, and it's uh, Wolf by Wolf and Blood 
Earth Love Blood, something blood. So that's pretty snazzy too. This uh, that goes with the um, book. What's this? Oh, this is a uh, postcard for Caravel, which comes out in January. I want to read that. I've got to be honest. I really want to read Caravel. I don't think so. I'm always afraid of ordering books in case it comes out in one of these boxes and then I'll have two and what will I do with two? So if I give one away but I haven't got enough subscribers to do a giveaway yet so if you want me to do a giveaway you're going to have to subscribe so I'm not going to do it until I've got at least 500 subscribers and I'm not that high but I do like that postcard and then this is the YW of oh, uh, 2017 the one memory of Flora Banks so I think this is an excerpt for the book by the look of it. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I love these little things, especially if they're not from a series. So, because obviously I, a lot of these books I won't have read yet. I've lost the card with the spoilers on it, but yes, that's a section from uh, a little few chapters from the prologue, anyway, from that. And first couple of chapters it's, it's a really tiny writing I don't know if you can see that but uh, I should give that a read and see if it's something I will want to be purchased in so this is evil plans an evil plans notebook uh, house of wonderland produced for Illumicrete so it's just a blank notebook it has got graph paper in the front of it, the front and back end papers I could put all my evil plans in there. That's a clue to the actual book that is in here. And then we've got some various different bits and pieces. That's the letter for, that goes with the book. Oh, there we are. Yeah, evil plans notebook. And oh, uh, a bookmark. Um, again this goes with the the book and the book is the diabolic by sj kincaid i have seen this on a few people's um booktube account um some people already read this they've had reader copies you know arcs and things like that um i thought it sounded very interesting i don't know if i bought it myself but i'm not gonna not gonna complain i'm certainly gonna enjoy this i don't know whether that was a good idea to keep that in the wire book of the year with a pope with a bookmark from um w H. smith saying that it's it's half price in w H. smith so does that makes you wonder did they buy it in w H. smith and get it for five pound and then charge us 29.99 for it it does make you wonder so mm, makes you wonder is this a bit of a scam but I don't think so. I mean I love all the items I mean obviously you've got the book which is still worth 11 pounds even if it costs them only half of that but then you've got the, the little candle which I think is lovely just it's just a normal kind of is it it smells like clean soap I, I'm sorry but it does and I like that this you've got this the, the six of crows thing pair of socks they're always handy you can always have more socks coffee cups. i do love the notebook it is something i will be using and of course the postcards and the bookmarks we're going to my postcard and bookmark collection i have a massive collection of, of of postcards i cut postcards from wherever i go so that is this month's um unboxing if you don't know what the diabolic is about it just says um the blurb says nemesis is a diabolic created to protect a galactic senator's daughter sidonia the girl who has grown up by her side and is as much a sister as a master. There is no one Nemesis wouldn't kill to keep her safe, but when the power mad Empress from Sidonia to the Galactic Court as a hostage, there is only one way for Nemesis to protect Sidonia. She must become her. Now, one of the galaxy's most dangerous weapons is masquerading in a world of corruption, and Nemesis has to hide her true abilities or risk everything. As the Empire begins to fracture and rebellion looms closer, Nemesis learns that there is something stronger than her deadly force, the one thing she's been told she doesn't have humanity and amidst all the danger action and intrigue her humanity might be the only thing that can save her Sidonia and the entire empire so yeah 
very interesting. I'm gonna, I will enjoy that when I get round to reading it with the other 700 odd books I've got to read on my TBR and it keeps growing for some reason. So that is this uh, quarter's Illumicrate. I really love the candle and the socks and the notebook and it, it, these are lovely little things to get. So yeah, very, very pleased with that. I really, I'm go I just love the cover as well. The cover's, it's you raised and you've got the beautiful butterfly or moth on the cover and it's just, it is, uh, it's, it's a really lovely cover. So I will be looking forward to reading that as soon as I can. I do tend to read these ones that come in the Luma Crate quite quickly because they are new releases rather than some of the other book, older books I get, so I like to review them. So there we go. So that is the um, Aluma Crate unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, obviously give me a thumbs up. If you've read the book or want to comment on any of the other items that were in Aluma Crate, do just uh, leave a comment down below. Um, I will put the links to um, some of the other pieces. I'll get the the spoiler sheet out and do that so you can have a look if you want to look for uh, things like the the coffee warmers and things I'm quite happy to leave a link to those below and don't forget to share the video with your, your friends if you think they should watch it and of course subscribe because well, as soon as I get enough subscribers I might do a giveaway you never know so that's it for me for now I will see you soon happy reading bye